Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gaurav Chavla from SV Wealth Partners. Today's session is sponsored by CDSL, and our speaker is Mr. Sanjay Nunes. I'll give you a brief about uh, Sanjay, sir. Mr. Sanjay Nunes is presently working with Central Depository Services India Limited as an assistant manager in Investor Awareness Department. Prior to joining CDSL, Mr. Nunes was working with the Metropolitan Stock Exchange of India. Currently, he is looking after our investor awareness activities and conducting awareness program across India and spreading the awareness about the financial literacy from the depository point of view in the particular and the capital market initiatives in general to educate investors to take as an informed decision with respect to any other matter related to the capital market. Mr. Nunes carries him over 11 years of wide experience into capital market and finance industry. As far as qualification is concerned, Mr. Sanjay holds a BCom degree from University of Mumbai. He also holds post-graduation degree in MBA in finance, MA in economics from University of Mumbai. He is also a chartered accountant from uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Mr. Noon has also cleared NISM Mutual Fund Foundation and Depository Operation Certification exams. Sir, I request you to please start the session. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the kind introduction. That was a generous one. It's my pleasure for these kind words, and I take the your permission to share my screen. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, can sir, can you please confirm whether my screen? Yeah, 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 screen is visible, sir. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So good evening, students. Uh, I'm Sanjay from CDSL. I welcome you all for today's webinar. Friends, basically starting with this presentation, I would like to uh, know from you guys that what comes to your mind when you heard about the word, when you read about the word savings or when you read the word investments, what comes to your mind? Friends, any guesses? Students, any guesses? See, I want to make this session very interactive. It should not be that only Sanjay will speak and you will listen. No. I totally agree with the interactive session. And I believe in interactive sessions. So please, students, I want some guesses, some answers from your side. Right or wrong doesn't matter. You can uh, type in your chat box or you can unmute yourself and you can uh, please feel free to answer my questions. I'm talking about investments and uh, savings. Students, at least one or two answers out of 40. Participants, good. Ram is giving good answers. Mutual funds, FDs. So basically, Ram, what comes to your mind when you uh, think about savings or when is it really important to save or to invest? Is it really important, Ram? Saving karma jarurat hai ki matlab chalta hai without yes to plan answer any perfect. Thank you, Ram, for your. Uh, beautiful answers. I really appreciate. So students, you might be aware that savings is yes, very much required to plan your uncertainty, right? And it is to secure your future, secure our future is an important concept behind savings and doing investments, right? So friends, based on this, we are going to see some important lessons. We are going to learn some important lessons on finance. We are going to learn some important lessons about investments. Uh, inflation, mutual, fu mutual funds will be in the second session. We'll talk about financial planning. We are going to talk about investment planning and so on and so forth, right? So uh, friends, I'm, I'm representing CDSL. So it is my responsibility to give you a brief about CDSL. Friends, CDSL is known as Central Depository Services Limited. Okay. Friends, CDSL was incorporated in December 1997. As you are aware, the shareholders are the part owners, of, part owners of the company. To name some few shareholders of CDSL, PAC, known as Bombay Stock Exchange, followed by HDFC Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, Canada Bank, and LIC of India are the major shareholders of CDSL. Friends, I am happy and pleased to inform you that CDSL is the first and only listed depository in Asia Pacific. It is the first and only depository to operate in IFSC city in Gujarat. Right? Friends, as you can see on the screen, CDSL has achieved a lot of ISO certification in context of IT systems and processes, business continuity management systems, e-voting processes. So friends, one thing is proved from this, from this certification that your securities in CDSL are safe and secured. 
okay and that is the reason why we have achieved this iso certification friends talking about statistics of cdsl as on today we have around 5 crore active dmat accounts situated in over 97% pin code that means across pan india we have around 5 crore active dmat accounts we have around 592 dps dp stands for depository participants operating from over 21434 touch points right friends what do you mean by dp dps or the depository participants are the intermediaries between the investors and the depository say for example if i want to open a bank account i will not directly approach the regulator known as reserve bank of india right i will search the nearby bank right nearby bank to open my account the individual banks say for example hdfc bank or icici bank just for an example point of view i am taking such type of names so i will look the nearby bank in order to open my demat uh, in order to open my bank account in the same manner friends if you want to do transactions in capital market if you want to invest in capital market you require to open a trading account you require to open a demat account and obviously bank account is must in order to support these two transactions so yes i will not approach the depositories known as cdsl or nsdl right there are two depositories in india first is cdsl and second is nsdl i will not approach in order to open my demat account or in order to open my trading account i will not approach the depository but i will approach the dps known as depository participants or the brokers wherein they they will help me to open my demat and trading account and yes after that if you have bought the securities the custody of the securities will be taken care by cdsl wherein your securities are safe right talking about issuer companies friends we have around 17586 unique companies around 16684 equity agents and 34823 other agents admitted with cdsl so this is just a brief about cdsl that CD, where does cdsl stand as on date what is the position of cdsl in the market as on date friends we as we have already we have just given i have given a brief that what type of lessons we are going to learn in today's session first and foremost is need for saving inflation financial planning asset class what do you mean by asset class and why it is important while doing a financial planning now slowly we will touch upon introduction to capital market then the rights issue do's and don'ts before trades services offered by depository and last but not the least key takeaways for investors right so friends need for saving freedom to pursue a dm career friends including me you and i have some of the other goals to be achieved in life right but for that dream to be achieved what plan i have drawn or what means what budget i have kept ready or just i have i am dreaming day in and day out just by jotting down my dream on the piece of paper if i am not implementing that dream or how to achieve that dream if i am not moving towards that particular goal then what is the purpose about dreaming make suppose action may plan or nahi la raha to what is the purpose if i am not implementing my dream to come true within a set time then what is the purpose of my dream but for that say for example as students if you want to do your post graduation in uk if you want to do your post graduation in america or in europe whatever have you made a road map that how i will approach how i will reach to this particular destination what is the what are the good colleges in europe or in uk or in america how much finance is required in order to pursue this post graduation degree for me it might be a dream to go to europe for international tour but before that what action i am going to what plan i am going to draw and what how i am going to implement it if i am not able to decide that at this moment i will not be able to reach to europe so friends each and every person has some of the other goal to be achieved so friends in order to achieve this goal you should have a budget in front of you and that budget is financial budget you should sit with a book and a pen in front of you you should jot down how much is your income how much is your expense what is the surplus how much cash i should keep in my hand to face the uncertainty and how much i should invest friends there are two types of income 
one is known as active and second is known as passive income now what do you mean by active income active income is say for example myself i am a salaried employee so after every month i get i get a salary but for getting that salary i put my initial efforts to earn that salary i put my initial efforts say for example i have a business to earn the profits in the business i put my initial efforts i do hard work in order to earn that business income or in order to earn my salary i put hard work i put my initial efforts to achieve that this is known as active what is about passive say for example now i have worked for money and at the end of the month i have received my salary or i have received my or, or i have earned the business income now what to do now how money will grow for me how money will work for me now as i invest i get returns out of it say for example if i invested in mutual funds i get returns out of it if i invested in capital market i get dividends if i invest in real estate say for example if i have invested in real estate and if i have given my flat on rental basis so if i receive my rental income that income friends is known as passive income because there by investing you are not putting your initial efforts money is now at the time of active income you have worked hard but in case of passive income you are not putting your initial efforts money is working for you so whenever you plan your budget see to it that you take into consideration your active as as well as your passive income into consideration and then you frame your budget and you frame your budget taking into consideration your time horizon your risk appetite very important and last but not the least what is the purpose behind your investments if there is no purpose friends you are nowhere so main important ki main kyu bachat kar rahi hu main kyu bachat kar raha hu kyu kar rahi hu aur kyu main nivesh kar rahi hu aur kyu main nivesh karta hu based on that your entire goal is dependent long term social security friends covid 19 has given a wake up call to all of us all of us you might agree with me right but friends think of a situation that if you those families who were not having ample cash or those families who were not ready to face this uncertainty with less cash in their hand or no cash in their hand god knows how they have survived so friends covid 19 has given a wake up call that you should be ready to face any type of uncertainty any type of uncertainty friends you might be aware that many people lost their jobs many people lost their lives there were huge medical expenses like anything and those who were not ready with this to face this uncertainty you are aware that they have were nowhere they were nowhere so in order to avoid this in order to face this financial storm or to come out of this financial storm or to come out from this uncertainty there should be a provision of an emergency fund now friends the emergency fund which i'm talking about or which i'm stressing on the word emergency that emergency fund should be at least 6 months of your living expenses i'm repeating your emergency fund should be at least 6 months of your living expenses then only somehow you will manage to come out of that uncertainty otherwise you will be stuck in that particular financial storm and it can be hazardous to your life as well friends saving for fun theek hai i want to go for domestic tour to jammu kashmir i want to go to an international tour i want to go to a restaurant on weekly on weekends right but for that for that fun do you have a fund with me or is or am i touching my emergency funds in order to enjoy think over it talking about marriage friends this is a hot this is a hot topic for all the students right after 10 15 years you might get married right but as you are aware that the indian trend people spend lavishly on marriages friend there was a survey done by matrimony.com approximately i'm talking about averagely 10 to 15 lakhs 10 to 15 lakhs are spent on marriages 
now it is up to you whether you want to go for court marriage or whether you want to spend lavishly on your marriage that is up to you but friends if you want, if you agree to spend lavishly on your marriages or say for example taking into consideration 10 15 lakhs in order to avoid that big bomb of expense at that particular time you should start your provision of towards your marriage expenses from today itself now many people might think that sir बोलते जा रहे बोलते जा रहे सेविंग्स करो सेविंग करो इन्वेस्टमेंट करो बट एट प्रेजेंट हम लोग कमाते नहीं है आई एग्री विथ यू आई टोटली एग्री विथ यू फ्रेंड्स फुल आई एम नॉट फुल्ली एग्री विथ यू ठीक है टेन परसेंट इज विथ मी आई नाइनटी परसेंट आई एग्री विथ यू बट टेन परसेंट आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फॉर द रिमेनिंग टेन परसेंट आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन वॉट अबाउट द pocket money which you are getting from your parents what about the free pocket money which you are getting getting from your parents have you thought about it how to save have you thought about saving that pocket money little bit amount from that pocket money have you thought about whatever savings you have done whether to invest in good asset class have you thought about it if not then it is this time right time this is the right time to think about not only think it is the right time to implement it because friends you are getting pocket money which many students or many college students are not valuing that pocket money if you are getting a pocket money of friends 2000 rupees it is a not big deal to save 500 rupees or 400 rupees out of that 2000 rupees i don't think so that this is a big challenge but friends that discipline which discipline i'm talking about financial discipline should come from within i am here to advise you for one hour but after that you have to implement it so start valuing the pocket money nowadays friends you can open your bank account with zero balance nowadays you can invest in mutual fund scheme with rupees 500 there are some certain some micro schemes available in the market where you can start your sip you known as systematic investment plan with rupees 100 or 200 rupees nowadays the brokers are opening the demat account free of cost now tell me what else you want which benefits you want now tell me living a financial legacy friends think about the situation that today is the last day in life there is no harm in thinking right and please don't take it otherwise think of a situation that today is your last day and just look behind and think that what type of financial legacy you are going to uh, what uh, what type of financial legacy you are going to keep on your dependents it is a whether it is a positive financial legacy or whether it is a negative financial legacy positive means that there is ample cash you have made a provision of ample cash for your dependents to be spent or take another situation that there is a negative financial legacy where you have kept your dependents in debt wherein they will pay the emis on your behalf would you like to take the positive financial legacy or whether you want to take a negative financial legacy the answer is with you i am not going to give you the answer you have to think you are well matured talking about big purchases i am having this mi ka phone which is costing 10000 rupees but yes as my standard of living is i want as i want to increase my standard of living obviously i will think about buying a apple ka phone but for that apple ka phone i require 1 lakh rupees this mobile is costing 10000 rupees apple ka phone is costing 1 lakh what about 90000 extra from where i will bring this 90000 whether i will touch my emergency funds to buy my 1 lakh ka mobile or whether i will make a provision friends you have to make a provision if you have if you are not having ample cash better avoid buying that big purchase of 1 lakh rupees ka phone or postpone your purchase of buying 1 lakh rupees ka phone why because you don't have cash with you to buy this buy this mobile talking about retirement planning friends retirement planning many people think that retirement planning is going for a morning walk reading books i agree this is secondary part how how you are going to live your life after after your retirement 
whether you want to borrow money nobody will give you because you are retired there is no inflow of cash there will be only outflow so in order to avoid that stress in post retirement in order to enjoy your life lavishly you should start your investments like sip known as systematic investment plan from today itself in order to in order to create a good corpus for retirement then only you can say one day that yes i am financially freedom i have i am a financially freedom or i am financially independent hum log garv se keh sakte hain ki yes i have become financially free or i have i am financially independent talking about inflation friends according to me inflation is a silent killer you agree or don't you agree you might be agree or you might disagree but my according to me inflation is a silent killer money loses value over time the simple example is regarding the petrol prices friends 3 to 4 months back the petrol prices was at around 80 rupees per liter now the petrol price is 110 per liter 30 rupees you are paying paying for the same product the vehicle is same the person is same you are paying 30 extra for the same petrol for the same product what is the 30 rupees the 30 rupees nothing but inflation goods gradually became expensive yes from 80 se 90 ho gaya 90 se 100 ho gaya 100 se 105 105 110 10. slowly gradually ho gaya inflation increases over time and decreases the value of money yes we have seen this but theek hai a silent killer jo hai na usko kaisa marna hai wo bhi apne paas tarika hai in order to fight against this particular enemy our saving must also go grow with time and what is that that is nothing but investment if you invest you will money will work for you but if you save and you keep your money in cupboard money will not work for you you will be at loss whenever you plan your budget take this important enemy into consideration pehle se aap prepare ho jao ki yes ye enemy aayega to main usko maar dalunga i will fight against this enemy but for that as i said in my example that this mobile is costing 10000 rupees but if i want to buy a new mobile obviously after one year down the line this mobile might cost 12000 rupees so whenever you will make your budget take into consideration 12000 rupees and not 10000 rupees take into consideration 12000 and not 10000 and plan your budget taking into consideration this 12000 in that as 2000 you are taking extra that 2000 is nothing but inflation right talking about financial planning and investment planning now financial planning and investment planning financial planning we have already discussed that yes you sit with a book and a pen kitna aapka income hai kitna aapka expenses hai कितना आपका सेविंग्स सरप्लस आपके पास अभी है उसमें से आपको हैंड इन हैंड कितना रखना है कैश इन हैंड और बाकी का आपको कितना सेव करके इन्वेस्ट करना है ये तरीका हो गया फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग का आफ्टर दैट योर इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लानिंग कम्स इनटू पिक्चर योर फर्स्ट स्टेप इफ यू फेल टू मेक योर फर्स्ट स्टेप यू फील यू विल फेल योर सेकेंड स्टेप एज वेल बिकॉज योर फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग योर इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लानिंग आर को your investment planning is dependent upon your financial planning if you fail to do proper financial planning you will fail to make investment planning kya aapko kuch malum hi nahi hai aapke paas 10000 hai magar uska 10000 karna hai kya karna ke kya hai aapko say for example out of 10000 2000 is your expenses after that what what to do about 8000 aapka koi purpose hi nahi hai to aap kya save karke kya kar karenge so but for that as i said in my earlier introduction part that your saving or your investment should have some or the other purpose if you don't have if you are not having purpose then there is no point in investing just randomly don't invest friends you will be at loss friends and we indian we indian specifically focus first on expenses and then on saving but if you see the foreign trend they will concentrate first on savings and then on expenses 
so try to try to follow the foreign trend right talking about asset allocation now asset allocation friends is a key to your financial success now you might have heard about the same old famous phrase don't put all your eggs in one basket take take two scenarios in front of you first scenario you have 10000 rupees handy with you and you invested that 10000 in a bank account entire 10000 you invested in bank account and tomorrow for example that bank goes bankrupt then what about the 10000 which you are having in your bank account your entire 10000 will be at loss why because the bank itself is bankrupt the bank is not having a penny to pay you so the entire 10000 is at loss take into take the second scenario you have five investment plates in front of you invest asset assets in front of you first is gold second is stock third is bonds fourth is savings and fifth is real estate now you put 2000 each in every plate so tomorrow if your bank goes bankrupt how much you will lose you will lose only 2000 because your other four four plates are safe and they are giving you more income in terms of return as you invest in stock market yes there is a capital appreciation you invest in real estate yes there is a capital appreciation if you invest in gold yes there is a appreciation so this is how your loss at one asset class will compensate profit in another other asset class so always segregate your investments don't stick to only one asset class that can harm you that can harm your finances as well as that can harm your health as well kyunki aapko loss ho jayega aap neend par so hi raat ko aap so hi nahi sakte why because aap you be in mental stress that what about the 10000 how now my 10000 is that means pura loss ho gaya mujhe 10000 I have lost entire ten thousand. Why? Because I concentrated only investing in one particular asset class. I have not thought about investing in other asset classes wherein my investments will would have been my risk would have been minimized and I would have got more returns. Friends, talking about capital market. Capital market wherein buyers and sellers come together to buy, sell securities, right? Bonds, shares, mutual fund units. They come together to buy and sell. Friends, capital market consists of two markets, known as primary and secondary market. You might have heard about IPOs, initial public offering. Now, now you can frequently, the day in and day out, you can hear about the word IPO. Every single day, you heard about the so and so company is coming with an IPO. Okay, so and so company got listed on the stock exchanges. So, what this process is all about, friends? IPO is a give and take process. You lend. to the money uh, do you lend money to the issuer or to the company and in return the company gives you shares right and on a decided date the shares get listed on the stock exchange and later on you can buy and sell or you can hold your securities that is up to you a primary market is where the company sells stocks to the public for the very first time and this process is known, known as ipo and in ipo you know who is the buyer and who is the seller in ipo you know that the seller is one company wherein i have applied for this ipo you are aware that who is the seller you are aware that to whom i am lending the money but friends in secondary market you are not aware that who is the buyer in front of you and who is the seller in front of you, you are not aware because the role of company in secondary market is zero the role of company i am talking about here the investors and traders buy and sell stocks to each other and the company does not participate in these transactions and the price if you see you might have seen that the stock the price of shares fluctuate within fractions or within seconds and this entire depends upon the demand and supply the monetary policy or the other policies or latest amendments or any good news to the company or any negative news to, for the company that depends that affects the market price of that particular share of the company friends if you want to invest in capital market you should have three accounts with you demat trading and savings account friends demat will hold your shares in demat form that means electronic form trading account is for buying and selling of securities in order to support these two 
accounts you need your savings bank account friends whenever remember one thing that whenever you want to open a demat account trade account see to it compulsorily see to it that the person is a sebi registered person or not that means the dp or the broker is sebi registered or not whether the dp or the broker is having sebi license or not see to it compulsorily if not then please don't open your demat and trading account with unregistered sebi broker please okay if you want the document as you know that certain documents you have to submit in order to complete your kyc so this is on the screen i have shown you if some if students are interested they can take a, a click of this uh, particular slide in case of proof of identity you have to submit one of the documents in case of proof of address you can submit in any one of the documents right so in order to complete your kyc so that your demat and trading account will be opened who can open demat account individuals up to, up to maximum 3 holders hf through karta can open demat account minor can also open a trading uh, demat account nra non resident indians then private limited company public limited company and registered trust i'm stressing on the word registered trust bank or domestic institutional investors can open a demat account and foreign portfolio investors can open a demat account benefits of demat as demat means online holding of shares friends as you hold your shares through online mode your securities are safe nobody can borrow your securities you cannot misplace your securities why because you are holding your securities through online mode your securities are safe you can also take loan against your securities which are lying in your demat account right nowadays you can also nowadays you can also hold mutual fund units in your demat account friends do this before you start trade as i said that deal only through sebi registered brokers and friends remember one thing that whenever you are going to sign whenever you are going to open a demat account trading account you the agent will give you certain forms to sign the documents friends just don't sign sign the documents blindly see to it that where i am signing my document what is the brokerage charged by the broker how much charges what is the reputation of the broker in the market is is there is the broker is not giving proper services please don't open the account with that particular broker right don't before you start trade deal don't deal with unregistered that is we have already discussed don't trade on rumors friends it is a famous there is a famous saying that rumors are carried by haters spread by idiots spread by fools and accepted by idiots nobody want to wants to get trapped in this right so before you invest in any asset class it might be in banks it might be in shares it might be in mutual funds see to it that where i am investing investing my money read proper document if you want to invest in capital market you say for example abc company read the prospectus read the annual reports see the financial condition of the company who are the competitors who are the vendors who are the promoters who are the shareholders what is the financial position what, what are the profits what are the revenues what are the ratios this entire you should be aware regarding fundamentals of the company and then only you should take your informed decisions to invest in that particular company or and then you have to decide that yes mujhe invest karna hi hai because i am confident that this particular business will grow in future don't share your internet trading password with anyone just imagine do you just think do you uh, share your atm password to your friend or to your parents answer will be no the same manner why to share your internet trading password with anyone right and do not make any payment in cash to the stock broker very important if any broker is asking cash from you gadbad hai kuch to please don't invest in with or don't do transaction with that broker if you have strictly close your account because there is clear cut sebi instruction or sebi circular in in the year 2017 that do not make any payment in cash to the stock broker right friends you might have heard about rights issue rights issue is offer of securities by a listed company okay i'm so talking about listed company to the existing shareholders 
Now taking to, I am taking the example of CDSL just for better understanding. I am taking the example of CDSL. Now friends, CDSL is a listed company, right? Now Mr. Sanjay is having, say for example, five shares in his account. So I am the existing shareholder as on date of CDSL. And friends, CDSL has come up with the rights issue that one share will be issued against five shares and rights issue are issued at a discounted price. And when the rights issued are issued, the ratio is set and the record date is set. Now the company has decided a record date that the existing shareholder should hold the securities in his, in his or her demand account till 20th of February. And say, for example, if I sell my shares on 25th, if I sell my shares, so there will be no sh shares in my account, right? So today, the security, the announcement was done. When the announcement was done by the company at that time, I was having shares in my account. But what is the record date? Record date is one date wherein you have to hold the securities till that date in your demat account. If not, then you are not eligible for rights issue. And rights issue are issued at a discounted price. So I will not be eligible because I have sold my shares on 25th of February and the record date is 28th of February. Okay. Talking about services offered by depository friends, if you having earlier companies used to issue physical share certificate and it was very tedious job to hold this particular physical share certificates with them. Why? Because there was a fear of theft. There was fear of misplace of physical securities. So in order to avoid this, a depository act 1996 was passed wherein you should compulsorily hold your security through online mode. And those who were having physical shared certificates, they were informed to convert these physical shared certificates to electronic form compulsorily. Talking about rematerialization. Now friends, you might, uh, uh, you might say that at uh, one point of time, you are talking about dematerialization and the entire world is moving towards digitalization. Now, how come this rematerialization is coming into picture? Friends, rematerialization means reverse of demand. Demand means what? Online. But reverse of demand means converting electronic security into physical certificates. Now say for example, if I'm not interested in both trading care, both transactions care, now I'm, I have no mood in investing in capital market. But at the same time, I don't want to sell my shares. So in order to avoid that AMC charges, I will take this particular service of rematerialization wherein I will convert my existing electronic securities into physical certificates. And whenever I feel in future that yes, now I'm again, I have built up an interest to invest or to do transactions in capital market, then again, I will take the service of dematerialization. Transfer of securities. Friends, transfer of securities means what? It is a voluntary act by a member. Transfer means transfer from one person to another person. Friend, I want to transfer your securities. Sanjay wants to transfer securities to Mr. A. That is possible. Mr. A is, is Sanjay's friend. Yes, it is possible. If I want to transfer my securities to my spouse, if I want to transfer my securities to my daughter, that is possible because it is voluntary. Coming, up, coming to transmission, transmission comes by operation of law. Now say for example, a demand account holder is no more. Now what to do about the securities lying in his demand account? Either it will get transmitted to the legalized account or it will get transmitted to the nominee's account. Two possibilities are there. So in order to prove, in case of a deceased person, in order to prove that I am his or her legal heads or I am his nominee, his or her nominee, I will obviously submit the death certificate of the deceased person to the broker in order to satisfy him that yes, I am his legal heirs or I am the nominee of this particular person. Then only the broker will take steps ahead to transmit the securities from the deceased person accounts to the uh, nominee's account or to the legal heirs account. Talking about digit, uh, CDSL digital services, friends, CDSL has introduce various digital services known as electronic access to security information. When this service will is an internet based facility and this service will give you the uh, the uh, what we say will help you to monitor this service will help you to monitor your transactions only monitor I'm talking about from anywhere and at any place and at any time. Talking about easiest friends easiest everything is same all the features of easy 
are included in easiest but the only difference here is that as i said that easiest will help you to monitor but in easiest it will help you to monitor as well as to execute the debit and credit instructions in your account talking about my easy mobile app you might be aware and you might be downloading various apps like amazon ka app mintra ka app to do shopping right the same manner when it comes to securities market or if you want to do transaction through mobile app we have developed one app known as my easy but for this my easy to be downloaded you should have the login credentials of easy and easiest this will help you to do transactions online through mobile app talking about smart sms alerts friends sms alerts means what now say for example you say for example you today you withdraw uh, 5000 rupees from your atm right from through your atm machine so immediately you will get a sms alert you deposited 5000 rupees in your account you will get instant message that yes so and so amount has been deposited in the same manner in the same manner when it comes to capital market you will you have you give instructions to the broker that yes i want to buy five shares i want to sell five shares so when these trades are executed on your behalf by the brokers you receive an sms alert that yes whatever instruction you had given that are, that has been executed it is not any the extra they have not executed so if any extra they have executed then it is then then this some misauthorization taken has taken place in your account and this alerts you that yes now i have to take action against that person right so it is an alert that you have to be alert right e voting e voting is to cast your valuable vote as shareholder friends if you buy one share of any listed company you become a shareholder and you have the right to vote on any company resolutions or or any company agms where wherever you are a shareholder why because your in vote will help you will help the company to make the decisions right e cash e cash stands for consolidated accounting statement friends i am i might be having some shares in cdsl i might be having some shares in uh, nhdl if i am having some uh, mutual fund units in abc company i might be having some units in pqr company so i will i have to search for each and every uh, site but i wanted to avoid that this particular stat- statement has been framed wherein you will get to know your entire portfolio value under one umbrella no need to go to pqr site no need to go to abc ka site no need to go to nhl ka site no need to go to cdsr ka site to search for all these shares and units or bonds whatever you will through this statement you will come to know but yes that entire holding should be through online mode or that should be dematerialized then only you will be able to see all your portfolio value under one umbrella if you have any grievances you can write to us at complaints@cdsindia.com we are there to help you out friends if you want any updates and information we have developed a chat box known as ask dia if you visit our site www.cdsindia.com and if you click on the bottom right you will see a chat box known as ask dia you can get solutions from anywhere and at any time right if you want to attend such webinars the information you can get from the chat box we are active on facebook linkedin twitter who instagram and also we have a youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe that we have very informative information uh, we are uploading all the uh, informative information on this particular sites so better take advantage of this key take away update your contact details which is very much important update your bank details yes with the broker right because sometimes the company is giving you dividends so that dividend should be created in your proper bank account register your nominee details friends there are you can nominee is very much important so take into consideration that you at least register your nominee not three but at least register one nominee track and register and track your demat account to cdsl easy and sms facility verify your transaction record power of attorney is an optional document power of attorney means, means what somebody is taking decisions on your behalf yes you can give your power of attorney but the power of attorney should be specific and not general and be aware while dealing based on unsolicited stock tips please don't trade on stock tips friends do your proper due diligence before investing in any asset class because that will keep you safe so the moral of the presentation is that invest safely and stay safe thank you very much 
Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Now we'll move to the second part uh, of this uh, session. I request Mr. Shamsher Singh, sir, to please start the session. Sure, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, Ajit, thank you once again. And good afternoon, everybody. My name is Shamsher Singh. Certified Financial Planner and CNPC TV 18 Financial Advisor Award winner. First part session का आपने Mr. Sanjay sir ने deliver किया बहुत अच्छे तरीके से. बहुत सी information आपको मिली. क्यों invest करना है? कैसे invest करना है? Financial planning के दूर investment करना है? Equities क्या है? किस तरह से यहाँ पे invest करना है? इसी chapter को आगे continue करते हुए हम बात करेंगे हमें as it is क्यों invest करना है? और इसके साथ साथ mutual funds. तो हमारा टॉपिक है इन्वेस्टर अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम तो टॉपिक के हिसाब से इन्वेस्टर बनने के लिए क्या करना होता है इसके लिए हमारी पॉकेट में पैसा होना चाहिए लेकिन पैसे को लेके हमारी क्या स्ट्रेटजी होती है क्या समझ होती है व्हाट डू यू डू विद योर मनी सेव स्पेंड या इन्वेस्ट देखा जाए तो पैसे को लेकर हमारे पास स्ट्रेटी नाम की कोई चीज ही नहीं होती है जैसे ही इनकम जनरेट हुई सबसे पहले खर्चा ही किया जाता है खर्चा करने के बाद अगर कुछ बच गया तो फिर वो हमारी सेविंग्स हो जाती हैं और अगर नहीं कुछ बचा तो तो फिर हम लोग अपने ही फिनेंशियल गोल्स इनके साथ कॉम्प्रोमाइज करना शुरू कर देते हैं जैसे प्लान किया होता है कि गाड़ी 25 लाख वाली लेंगे लेकिन लेने के टाइम पे फिर से सोचेंगे 12 चौदह सोलह लाख प्लान किया होता है कि वेकेशन पे जाएंगे डिले कर देंगे पोस्टपोन कर देंगे वन बाय वन अपने फिनेंशियल गोल्स इनके साथ कॉम्प्रोमाइज करना शुरू कर देते हैं तो फिर क्या होना चाहिए होना यह चाहिए कि जितनी इनकम जनरेट हो गई पहले सेविंग्स करें और उसके बाद ही अपना खर्चा शुरू करें और इसके साथ साथ वे अन रेगुलरली वे स्पेंड रेगुलरली शुडन वे आल्सो इन्वेस्ट रेगुलरली हमें रेगुलर इन्वेस्ट करना है और जिस हिसाब से हमारी इनकम इंक्रीज हो रही है हमारे इन्वेस्टमेंट हमारी सेविंग्स वो भी इंक्रीज होनी चाहिए लेकिन जब हम सेविंग्स की बात करते हैं तो भी हमारे सेविंग्स के साथ कुछ ना कुछ गलत होता है और वो है इन्फ्लेशन जिसके बारे में हम लोग सुनते हैं बात भी करते हैं पिछली प्रेजेंटेशन में भी इसके बारे में बताया गया था हम लोग इसके बारे में सुनते हैं बात करते हैं लेकिन इसका इम्पैक्ट नहीं समझ पा रहे इन्फ्लेशन नीड्स ऑफ यूर सेविंग्स ओवर टाइम समय के साथ हमारे पैसे की वैल्यू कम होने लगती है एंड वट डज इन्फ्लेशन डू टू यूर सेविंग्स पांच परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन रिज्यूम करके चलें और आज पॉकेट में अगर एक लाख है तो पांच साल बाद इसकी वैल्यू एटी थाउजेंड के आसपास रह जाएगी पंद्रह साल बाद आधी यानी कि फिफ्टी थाउजेंड और बीस साल बाद सिर्फ पैंतीस हजार के बराबर हो वो भी कब अगर इन्फ्लेशन पांच परसेंट रहे तो और अगर इन्फ्लेशन यहां से थोड़ी सी बढ़ गई तो यह वैल्यू बीस बाईस से ज्यादा की नहीं होगी एंड वट डज इन्फ्लेशन डू टू यूर एक्सपेंसिव Once again, impact of 5% yearly inflation. आज किसी का खर्चा सिर्फ तीस हजार थर्टी थाउजेंड है वो कम फिगर ली गई है सिर्फ तीस हजार है तो पांच साल बाद फोर्टी थाउजेंड चाहिए होगा पंद्रह साल बाद डबल यानी कि सिक्सटी थाउजेंड और बीस साल बाद एट्टी थाउजेंड चाहिए होगा अगर इन्फ्लेशन पांच परसेंट रहे तो और अगर इन्फ्लेशन यहां से थोड़ी सी पड़ गई तो यही कम से कम लाख सवा लाख चाहिए होगा जो आज के तीस हजार के बराबर होगा और जहां तक इन्फ्लेशन की बात है देखा जाए तो ऑलरेडी हमारा एजुकेशन इन्फ्लेशन हमारा खुद का लाइफस्टाइल इन्फ्लेशन बहुत हाई है जो मोबाइल जो चीज आज हम ले रहे हैं आने वाले चार तीन चार पांच सालों में उसी प्राइस की तो नहीं लेंगे उससे अच्छी महंगी खरीदने की कोशिश करेंगे सो so ऑलरेडी हमारा इन्फ्लेशन है खुद का लाइफ इन्फ्लेशन बहुत हाई है तो फिर इसका सोल्यूशन क्या है इन्फ्लेशन को बीट करने का वो है इन्वेस्टिंग The safeguard against inflation. <clears throat> जितना जल्दी अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट को शुरू करोगे उतना कम पैसा इन्वेस्ट करके हमारा कार्डपर्स बहुत बड़ा जनरेट हो सकता है और आइंस्टाइन के मुताबिक दुनिया का आठवां अजूबा पावर ऑफ कंपाउंडिंग यानी जितना जल्दी हम लोग अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट को शुरू करते हैं उतना कम पैसा इन्वेस्ट करके आपका कार्डपर्स बहुत बड़ा जनरेट हो सकता है और इस स्लाइड में यही एक कंपाउंडिंग का इफेक्ट जो है उसकी उसके बारे में बताया गया है कि कंपाउंडिंग क्या इफेक्ट करती है हमारी सेविंग्स पे हमारी इन्वेस्टमेंट्स 
इस स्लाइड में एक एग्जांपल दी गई है कि आपको दो विकल्प दिए जा रहे हैं पहला आपको हर रोज एक करोड़ मिलेगा पहली तारीख एक करोड़ दो को एक करोड़ तीन को एक करोड़ करते करते अगर तीस दिनों का एक महीना है तो तीस करोड़ आपकी पॉकेट में आ जाएंगे और दूसरा विकल्प है कि आपको पहले दिन एक रुपया मिलेगा दूसरे दिन दो तीसरे दिन तीन रुपए चौथे दिन चार नौ नौ तारीख तक आते आते दो सौ छप्पन रुपए मिल जाएंगे और दस तारीख को सीधे पांच सौ बारह रुपए तो कौन सा विकल्प बेहतर हो सकता है हर रोज एक करोड़ यानी कि तीस करोड़ आपकी पॉकेट में और यहाँ पे दसवें दिन तक आते आते भी हमारी पॉकेट में सिर्फ पांच आ रहे हैं और ग्यारह दिन बाद फिर एक कौन सा विकल्प बेहतर हो सकता है गेन कंपाउंडिंग वाला इफेक्ट ही बेहतर हो सकता है क्योंकि इसी रूल के कैलकुलेशन के हिसाब से अगर हम चलें तो जैसे ही ट्वेंटी एट अट्ठाईस अट्ठाईस को दिन आता है तो तेरह करोड़ उनतीस दिन ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट एट फोर करोड़ और तीस दिन फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट करोड़ एक ही दिन में मिल गया और फिर से एक बार सोचो ना कि अगर ये महीना तीस की जगह पे इकतीस का होता तो फिफ्टी करोड़ का डबल करोड़ करोड़ से ज़्यादा एक ही दिन में पैसा पे 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 आपको हर रोज एक करोड़ मिलने पे तीस करोड़ मिला और जबकि यहां पे एक, एक करोड़ को आप क्रॉस कर गए सो वंस अगेन जितना जल्दी अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट शुरू करते हैं या अगर हमारे इन्वेस्टमेंट्स को एक लंबा समय मिलता है तो वो हमारे इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए कंपाउंडिंग के लिए एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं वट आर यू इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर पिछली प्रेजेंटेशन में भी बोला गया था कि किस पर्पज के लिए इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो हमें पता ही नहीं हमें जाना कहाँ है यहाँ से मुंबई जाना है या बठिंडा आना है तब तक हमारे लिए कोई भी विकल्प बेहतर नहीं है और अगर हमें खुद ही नहीं पता कि किस पर्पज के लिए इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रहे हैं तब तक हमारे लिए कोई भी प्रोडक्ट कोई भी स्कीम बेहतर विकल्प हो ही नहीं सकती पर्पज क्या है हमारा जैसे रिटायरमेंट प्लानिंग ड्रीम होम ड्रीम कार वेकेशन हायर एजुकेशन मैरिज प्लानिंग ऑलवेज इन्वेस्ट इन एसेट्स विथ योर स्पेसिफिक फाइनेंशियल गोल एंड माइंड लेकिन जब हम इन्वेस्टमेंट की बात करते हैं तो फिर हमारे सामने बहुत से विकल्प आ जाते हैं जैसे पोस्ट ऑफिस बैंक डिपॉजिट स्टॉक्स म्यूचुअल फंड प्रॉपर्टी इंश्योरेंस गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स कहां पर इन्वेस्टमेंट करें कितनी इन्वेस्टमेंट करें हमारी इन्वेस्टमेंट किस तरह की होनी चाहिए मेक योर इन्वेस्टमेंट वर्क फॉर यू योर इन्वेस्टमेंट शुड फाइट इन्फ्लेशन फॉर यू प्रोवाइड इनकम वेन यू नीड इट बीबल एंड यूजेबल इन पार्ट एंड पोर्शन ग्रो इन वैल्यू एंड एप्रिशिएट ओवर टाइम बी रिलाईजेबल एट फेयर वैल्यू एंड लो कॉस्ट और अगर नहीं है तो फिर प्रॉपर एसेट एलोकेशन इज द आंसर लेकिन अब ये एसेट एलोकेशन क्या है एसेट एलोकेशन जस्ट लाइक अ बैलेंस थाली जैसे खाना हम लोग हर रोज एक ही टाइप का नहीं लेते एज इट इज हमारी इन्वेस्टमेंट गोल्ड प्रॉपर्टी स्टॉक्स म्यूचुअल फंड्स अदर एसेट क्लासेस में भी होनी चाहिए लेकिन कितनी कैसे किस परसेंटेज से किस कैलकुलेशन से अगेन द आंसर इज एसेट एलोकेशन एसेट एलोकेशन मींस कि हमारा पैसा हमारे गोल्स हमारे रिस्क प्रोफाइल हमारे टाइम के हिसाब से कितने परसेंट किस एसेट क्लास में होना चाहिए और ये परसेंट टू परसेंट वेरी करेगा एसेट एलोकेशन का मतलब ये बिल्कुल भी नहीं है कि अगर आपके पास हंड्रेड रुपीज है तो दस दस रुपए दस एसेट क्लासेस में डाल दो वन अगेन ये आपके गोल्स आपके रिस्क प्रोफाइल आपके ड्यूरेशन के हिसाब से मैच करेगा पर्सन टू पर्सन मैच करेगा एंड एसेट एलोकेशन शुड मैच योर नीड्स एक इन्वेस्टर उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है वो चाहता है ओवर अ टाइम उसके पैसे की वैल्यू बढ़े पैसा अप्रिशिएट हो तो विकल्प रहेंगे प्रॉपर्टी गोल्ड आर्ट कलेक्शन इक्विटी शेयर और म्यूचुअल फंड लेकिन अगर दूसरा हमारी रिक्वायरमेंट है कि हमारी इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हमारे लिए इनकम जनरेट करें तो विकल्प रहेंगे बॉन्ड्स केवीपी एनएससी बैंक डिपॉजिट कंपनी डिपॉजिट्स और वंस अगेन म्यूचुअल फंड्स म्यूचुअल फंड की बात करें तो हमारे मैक्सिमम फाइनेंशियल गोल्स के साथ ये फिट बैठते हैं क्यों क्योंकि म्यूचुअल फंड्स हर एसर क्लास में अपने इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं फिर वो चाहे गोल्ड है बॉन्ड है डिवेंचर्स है गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज है इक्विटीज है और सबसे बड़ी बात यहां पे प्रोफेशनल मैनेजमेंट है तो जब हम म्यूचुअल फंड की बात कर ही रहे हैं तो फिर हमें यह भी जानना होगा कि इसका स्ट्रक्चर क्या है किस तरह से ये काम करता है इसके पास कितने टाइप्स की स्कीम्स हैं ताकि इनको हम अपने फिनिशियल गोल्स के साथ मैच कर पाए लेकिन उससे पहले हम ये जानेंगे कि क्या है म्यूचुअल फंड और म्यूचुअल फंड इज द ट्रस्ट एट पुल्स द सेविंग ऑफ नंबर ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स शेयर ए कॉमन फिनेंशियल गोल एनी बॉडी विद एन इन्वेस्टेबल सरप्लस ऑफ एज लिटल एज ए फ्यू हंड्रेड रुपीज 
can invest in mutual funds. And money collected is invested by a professional fund manager in different types of securities. And securities could range from share to debenture, from government bond to money market instruments, depending on, upon the scheme's traded objective. But mutual fund investment gives the market returns and not assured returns. In the long term, market returns have the potential to perform better than other assured returns today. An investment in mutual fund is, move, is the most cost efficient as it offers the lowest charge to the investor. And how does a mutual fund work? So, here we are going to be able to do As an investor, Jim K. Common Financial Goals and pool their money and fund manager invest in stocks and securities. To help generate returns. Or for any returns, hum logon ko, yani ke investors could deliver. Kar di and why invest in mutual funds? You invest in mutual fund. Mein. Bahut baar suna hai, ke mutual fund is not a good thing. Why is it not a reasons. Hai. Jaise professional management, fund managers, in the case of the team. Mutual fund company ki apne research houses, kisi bhi stocks ya securities mein paisa invest karne se pehle, ye us company ki internal or external information rakhte hain. Government policies, market sentiments, international market ke impact, in sab ke baare mein aware hote hain. Iske ilawa, ek layman banda, isne life mein kabhi bhi kuch bhi invest nahi kiya, wo bhi janta hai ke sare ka sara paisa ek jagah pe nahi hona chahiye, yani risk diversification. So mutual fund का हर fund अपने आप में diversified है. अगर आज आपने एक equity oriented fund में investment कर दी, तो कम से कम 30-40 companies के stocks या securities में investment होगी. लेकिन किन companies के stocks या securities में investment है? कितने percent की holding है? कौन सा fund manager इनको manage कर रहा है? ये fund कितने लंबे समय से perform कर रहा है? इस fund की past performance क्या है? Risk meter क्या है? NAV क्या है? Expense ratio क्या है? YTM क्या है? Etc. इन सब की information mutual fund provide करता है. तो फिर इसी को तो ट्रांसपेरेंसी बोलते हैं इसके अलावा कन्वीनिएंट यानी कि बहुत कम पैसे के साथ इवन 500 रुपीस पर मंथ आप म्यूचुअल फंड में अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट स्टार्ट कर सकते हो लेकिन कभी भी अपनी इस इन्वेस्टमेंट को इंक्रीज या वापस डिक्रीज भी किया जा सकता है लेकिन पैसा तो इन्वेस्ट हो गया वापस भी चाहिए तो उसके लिए लिक्विडिटी आप जब चाहे म्यूचुअल फंड से अपना पैसा वापस भी ले सकते हैं और इसके साथ-साथ वेल रेगुलेटेड बट सेबी इसके ऊपर एक रेगुलेटर है और वह है सेबी सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया जो इंडियन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट के रेगुलेटर और लो कॉस्ट यानी कि बहुत कम चार्जेस के साथ ये सारे के सारे बेनिफिट्स हम लोगों के लिए ही यानी कि म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टर्स के लिए ही अवेलेबल है और इसके साथ-साथ अ मैटर ऑफ रिस्क रिटर्न ट्रेड आउट यानी आपका जितना हाई रिस्क है रिटर्न उतनी बेहतर हो सकती है हाई रिस्क है रिटर्न्स भी हायर हो हो सकती हैं तो उसके लिए इक्विटी स्कीम्स लेकिन मॉडरेट रेट रिस्क है तो रिटर्न्स भी मॉडरेट हो सकती हैं वहां पे हाइब्रिड स्कीम्स लो टू मॉडरेट रिस्क है तो रिटर्न्स भी लो टू मॉडरेट हो सकती हैं वहां पे डेट स्कीम्स और अगर रिस्क बहुत कम है तो रिटर्न्स भी लोअर हो सकती हैं वहां पे लिक्विड स्कीम्स एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकती हैं और जब भी करें गोल बेस्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट करें तो इस स्लाइड में एक छोटा सा इंफॉर्मेशन दी गई कि अगर हमारा ऑब्जेक्टिव बहुत कम है वेरी शॉर्ट टर्म एक साल से कम का है तो लिक्विड म्यूचुअल फंड्स शॉर्ट टर्म यानी एक से तीन साल का है तो डेट म्यूचुअल फंड्स मीडियम टर्म तीन से चार साल का है तो बैलेंस म्यूचुअल फंड आज की डेट में इनको हाइब्रिड फंड के नाम से जानते हैं लॉन्ग हॉरिजन लॉन्ग टर्म यानी 6 से 10 साल तो डिवर्सिफाइड इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स और अगर हमारा ऑब्जेक्टिव लंबे समय का है वेरी लॉन्ग है 10 साल या इससे ज्यादा है तो डिवर्सिफाइड mid cap small cap and sectoral mutual funds ek behtar vikalp ho sakte hain to fir ab hum baat karenge inki alag alag schemes ke bare mein taaki inko hum apne goals risk profile ke hisab se match kar paaye duration ke hisab se match kar paaye jaise equity funds invest in equities and equity related instruments of companies seeking long term growth but volatile in short term and suitable for investors with higher risk appetite and longer investment horizon लंबे समय का आपका इन्वेस्टमेंट हॉरिजन है तो इक्विटी फंड्स एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं 
लेकिन दूसरा इन्वेस्टर वो क्या चाहता है वो चाहता है उसको तो कोई ऐसी स्कीम मिले जो इक्विटी शेयर यहां पे बिल्कुल भी इन्वेस्ट ना करती हो तो डेट फंड एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं क्योंकि ये इन्वेस्ट करते हैं डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज जैसे जी सेक गापोरेट बॉन्ड्स टीबेल्स एक्सेट्रा एंड एम्स टू अर्न इंटरेस्ट इनकम एंड कैपिटल एप्रिसिएशन एंड सुटेबल फॉर इन्वेस्टर्स सीकिंग इनकम एट मॉडरेट लेकिन इसके अलावा एक तीसरा इन्वेस्टर है वो ये चाहता है नहीं उसको तो इक्विटी का बेनिफिट भी चाहिए और डेट का बेनिफिट भी चाहिए तो हाइब्रिड फंड्स एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं क्योंकि ये इक्विटीज और फिक्स्ड इनकम प्रोडक्ट्स यानी कि डेट इन दोनों का ही कॉम्बिनेशन हमें हेल्थी डोज ऑफ इक्विटीज बट डेट पोर्शन फर्टिफाइज अगेंस्ट एनी डाउन टर्म एंड आइडियल फॉर इन्वेस्टर्स आर लुकिंग फॉर ए मिक्सचर ऑफ सेफ्टी इनकम एंड मॉडेस्ट कैपिटल एप्रिसिएशन और इंडेक्स फंड इंडेक्स इतनी ही रिटर्न चाहिए तो इंडेक्स फंड एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं क्योंकि यहां पे पोर्टफोलियो रेप्लीकेट द इंडेक्स एम टू प्रोवाइड रिटर्न इन द लाइन विद इन इसके बाद हम बात करेंगे गोल्ड इंडिया की क्योंकि हमारा इंडियन ट्रेडिशन है हम लोग गोल्ड में अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट जरूर करते हैं गोल्ड टूर्नामेंट लेते हैं गोल्ड कॉइन्स लेते हैं फिर डर लगता है चोरी ना हो रहा है बैंक में लॉकर रखते हैं उसके एनुअल चार्जेस पे करते हैं गोल्ड यहाँ से 10, 12, 15, 20 साल बाद गोल्ड बच्चों को गिफ्ट कर देते हैं और बच्चे भी स्माइल देके बोल देते हैं अरे ये सारे तो आउटडेटेड हैं आज की डेट में इनका फैशन ही नहीं वंस अगेन ज्वेलर के पास जाएंगे लेकिन चार्जेस पे करेंगे तो क्या किया सिर्फ फाइनेंशियल लॉस वो गोल्ड जो आपको फिजिकल शेप में चाहिए आपके ट्रेडिशन के लिए चाहिए होना ही चाहिए लेकिन जो गोल्ड आपको बच्चों को गिफ्ट करना है पोर्टफोलियो को डिवर्सिफिकेशन के लिए रखना है इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पस के लिए रखना है उसका बेहतर विकल्प गोल्ड ईटीएफ भी हो सकते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ पे इम्प्योरिटी का रिस्क नहीं है इसके प्राइसिंग की बात करें तो लिंक टू इंटरनेशनल गोल्ड प्राइसेस एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट गोल्ड ईटीएफ हमें लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन का बेनिफिट जो है वो देते हैं तो गोल्ड ई इन्वेस्टमेंट का एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं और इसके बाद ई एल इक्विटी लिंक सेविंग स्कीम्स डिडक्शन From taxable income of up to 1.5 lakhs under Section 80C, invest predominantly in equity and shortest lock-in period of three years as compared to other tax-saving options. Because if we talk about tax-saving, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. So, lock in period, we talk about lock-in period. तो क्या ईएलएसएस एक बेहतर विकल्प नहीं हो सकता तीन साल का लॉक इन पीरियड है तीन साल के बाद पैसा वापस लेते हैं तो लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन का बेनिफिट मिलता है और लंबे समय के लिए अगर यहां पे पैसा रहने दिया जाए तो इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पस के लिए भी ये एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं लेकिन जब हम म्यूचुअल फंड में अपने इन्वेस्टमेंट की बात करते हैं तो फिर हमारे सामने प्लान जो है और ऑप्शंस दो प्लान्स और ऑप्शन शो होते हैं और प्लान्स भी हमारे सामने दो ही आते हैं और ऑप्शंस भी दो ही शो होते हैं प्लान्स की बात करें तो डायरेक्ट एंड रेगुलर प्लान एंड यू कैन इन्वेस्ट डायरेक्टली दैट इज विदाउट इन्वॉल्विंग और रूटिंग द इन्वेस्टमेंट थ्रू एनी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर और एजेंट इन ए डायरेक्ट प्लान और थ्रू और विद हेल्प ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड एजेंट और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर इन अ रेगुलर प्लान और डायरेक्ट प्लान हैज अ सेपरेट एनर्जी which is higher than the normal regular plans and anyway. a direct plan has lower expense ratio as there is no distributor or agent involved lekin jab hum options ki baat karte hain to bhi hamare samne do hi vikalp aate hain growth or dividend over a time paise ki appreciation chahiye paisa padhna chahiye to growth option lekin agar hame chahiye ki hum hamari investment hamare liye cash flow generate kare income cash flow generate kare तो डिविडेंड डिविडेंड ऑप्शन एक बेहतर विकल्प हो सकते हैं और इसके बाद हम बात करेंगे मॉड्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग की लमसम इन्वेस्टमेंट में रहेंगे अनिशियल और एडिशनल परचेज अनिशियल यानी एक ही बार में किसी स्कीम में पर पहली बार पैसा इन्वेस्ट किया तो ये अनिशियल परचेज कहलाएगा लेकिन सेम स्कीम सेम पोलियो कुछ और पैसा इन्वेस्ट करेंगे तो ये अडिशनल परचेज कहलाएगा इसके अलावा सिस्टमेटिक इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान एस हमारे बैंक से एक फिक्स्ड अमाउंट हर महीने या क्वार्टरली बेसिस पे फिक्स रेट को म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम में ट्रांसफर होती है तो ये एस कहलाती है सिस्टमेटिक इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान जस्ट लाइक अ रेकरिंग डिपॉजिट 
जबकि सिस्टमेटिक ट्रांसफर प्लान म्यूचुअल फंड की किसी एक स्कीम से पैसा थोड़ा थोड़ा करके किसी दूसरी स्कीम में ट्रांसफर होना और ये एक या एक से ज्यादा स्कीम में भी ट्रांसफर हो सकता है और ये डेली वीकली मंथली या क्वार्टरली बेसिस पे भी ट्रांसफर किया जा सकता है और इंटर स्कीम स्विचेस किसी एक स्कीम से सारे का सारा पैसा किसी दूसरी स्कीम में ट्रांसफर करना इंटर स्कीम स्विचेस कहलाता तो यहाँ पे हमारे पास सबसे पहले केवाईसी होना चाहिए और केवाईसी के लिए पैन कार्ड एक मैंडेटरी डॉक्यूमेंट होना ही चाहिए उसके बाद हमारा कोई भी एड्रेस प्रूफ जैसे पासपोर्ट ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस आधार कार्ड वोटर कार्ड नरेगा जॉब कार्ड एनी अदर गवर्नमेंट अप्रूव प्रूफ ऑफ एड्रेस यूज किया जा सकता है और नॉमिनेशन कभी भी ना भूलें एक या एक से ज्यादा लोगों को नॉमिन किया जा सकता है एंड एन नंबर ऑफ टाइम इनको चेंज भी किया जा सकता है लेकिन जब हम पैसा इन्वेस्ट करते हैं या वापस लेते हैं रिडीम करते हैं अब भी हमारे सामने दो ही विकल्प आते हैं ऑफलाइन और ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन वही ट्रेडिशनल पेपर वेस्ट हम लोग अपना फॉर्म फिल करेंगे और सबमिट करवाएंगे जबकि ऑनलाइन मोड में वेबसाइट ऑफ द रिस्पेक्टिव म्यूचुअल फंड वेबसाइट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर इसके अलावा बाय म्यूचुअल फंड यूनिट थ्रू एन एस सी बी एस प्लेटफॉर्म जस्ट लाइक अ कंपनी स्टॉक इन हाउ टू विद्रॉ यूर मनी विद्रॉ यूर मनी फ्रॉम म्यूचुअल फंड Scheme is called as redemption or repurchase, and you can withdraw full or partial amount or even a specific number of units. Or once again, we will do two things: online or offline. Offline, we have traditional paper waste, or online, we have company's website. We visit it and we can do the online transactions. If we talk about NAV, then NAV, net asset value, is the market value of all the funds' investments plus liabilities and expenses. Divided by outstanding number of units for the fund. Our mutual fund NAVs are published daily on MFI website, mutual fund website, or leading newspaper. And with this, with the investment, if we have any error, a complaint, then so contact the investor relation officer of the mutual fund. Name and contact detail of the investor are available in the scheme information document and company website. But if there is any error, if it is not satisfied, तो सेबी की साइट पे विजिट किया जा सकता है इसके अलावा सेबी के लोकल ऑफिस जहां पे हैं आप वहां भी विजिट कर सकते हो इनके टोल फ्री नंबर पे भी कांटेक्ट किया जा सकता है लेकिन आप जब भी अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट करें सबसे पहले जरूर देखें कि आपका एडवाइजर सेबी रजिस्टर्ड ही होना चाहिए एसेट एलोकेशन डिवर्सिफिकेशन का ध्यान रखें अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट गोल बेस्ड करें ताकि आप अपने फाइनेंशियल गोल्स अचीव कर पाए और खुश रहें इन्वेस्टिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच